So in this lesson, I'm going to go through the basics of using PolyFX. First, I'm going to create a piece of mo text on the mo graph, and I'm going to call this PolyFX. I'm going to change the font to um, Terminator. It's just a bit thicker. And I'm going to adjust the depth. I'm going to make it deeper, maybe 80 centimeters. And I'm going to go to MoGraph and add a PolyFX. I'm going to make this a child of the Mo text, like this. And as you can see, nothing's happened. That's because for PolyFX to work, we need an effector. So I'm going to click PolyFX, go to MoGraph, Effector, and I'm going to choose Random. As you can see, the text has exploded, but it doesn't look very good. Different size chunks, and it just kind of looks uh, quite amateurish. So I'm just going to turn off PolyFX. In order to get these chunks looking a bit better, we need more uh, detail in this geometry. So I'm going to click on Mo Text, and I'm going to add some subdivisions. As you can see, it's adding subdivisions along the Z axis. So I'm going to add 8 to start. I'm going to go to Caps, and I might give it a fillet cap actually. I'm going to make the radius just 1. Uh, where it says type, I'm going to choose quadrangles. I'm going to check regular grid. And as you can see, we have some detail in the faces as well now. We can increase uh, the detail by decreasing the width. So the lower the width, the more detail these faces have. So I'm going to leave it around here. Lastly, I'm going to go back to object and intermediate points. I'm going to choose subdivided. And now we're getting divisions along the z-axis or the x-axis. So that mesh looks nice and detailed. Um, all the pieces seem even in size. And I'm going to turn uh, PolyFX back on. As you can see, it's a lot more detailed. So I'm going to go to PolyFX and I'm going to choose a fall off. I'm going to choose a spherical fall off, so choose sphere. And I'm just going to increase the scale of this. As you can see now, um, it's affecting the areas within uh, this sphere. I'm just going to go to Gorad Shading. So this is good, but when we play back this animation, nothing happens. And in order to create the effect at the beginning of this video, you need to use a time effector. So I'm going to click on poly effects. I'm going to go to MoGraph, Effector, Time. I'm just going to click on poly effects, go to the Effectors tab, and make sure it's been added. I'm going to go to the time effector. I'm going to get rid of rotation, and I'm just going to give it position. I'm going to give it 9 centimeters to begin with. I'm going to play this back. And as you can see, we get this nice explosion animation. You can add some rotation to this. Maybe not 90 degrees, but um, some small values. Give them some uh, spin. And we can move this um, effector anywhere we want. So that's basically how I created uh, the animation at the beginning of this tutorial. It's very simple. We can uh, adjust the fall off. So um, as you can see, uh, increasing the fall off just gives it a bit more kind of um, blending around the edges of the sphere. going to add some lights to this scene. Just to give it uh, a bit more depth. That's pretty much it. Please share this if you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.